South Texas sports, it's about more than just the score. It's about the athletes, coaches, families, and fans who make a difference. This is Good Sports with Nikila Pradier. Good evening, everyone. Well, this is the month that we celebrate the women who have blazed trails in our country. So we're putting a spotlight on a couple of sheroes in our local sports community. They are the first women to serve in their respective roles. Males are still the majority in their field, but these ladies are making their mark and they're doing it in familiar territory. If you've been anywhere around the West Oso community, you definitely know Cheryl Fillmore, going back to her time as a student and top-notch athlete. I participated in every sport and so did fairly well in, in all of them and um, had some honors, state honors, regional honors. After taking that talent to the collegiate level, Fillmore came back home to the school district in 1992 and hasn't looked back since. She's been teacher, counselor, coach of multiple sports and now West Oso ISD's athletic director, the first African American and woman to hold that title. And as people, um, past athletes, my athletes and um, just co-workers started telling me, you know, you've made history. It really didn't hit me until they started telling me those things. Right alongside Phil Moore in those historic ranks is Brenda Marshall, Corpus Christi ISD's first female athletic director. And although she's a familiar face now, with 32 years in CCISD's athletics office, with the last 12 as AD, she didn't always get the warmest of welcomes. We went to a, a local athletic director's meeting. Uh, Chipper and, and Joey took me there, and uh, the other ADs thought that I was their secretary. And Joey was very quick to say, no, this is our new assistant athletic director. And even now, Phil Moore says it can be a challenge when she meets with her male counterparts. I just have to suck it up and and keep keep my head up and just walk in as though I'm one of them because in actuality I am one of them. For Marshall, she was one of them during a time when few women were. There was only five women at that time in the state of Texas in the 80s and two were athletic directors and then three of us were assistant ADs. Although making history was nothing new to Marshall, after graduating from Ray High School, she went on to the University of Texas at Arlington playing softball under Jody Conrad, largely known as a women's basketball coaching legend. Then Marshall picked up coaching herself, heading to what was then West Texas State. Start a softball program at the age of 22, Division One. Along the way, Marshall was also a member of the first women's softball team to represent present the U.S. at the Pan American Games. Now she's taking that passion and pouring it into serving the students of CCISD, which now offers girls and boys the chance to compete in every sport that the UIL recognizes. You want to uh, make sure you take care of the kids and give them a good place to play and try to offer them all the things that you can. Fillmore carries the same mentality, relishing in her new role of service to West Oso students, and she says she's humbled to be the trailblazer in her community that can show young people that hard work and discipline are rewarded no matter your background or gender. Not everybody believes in West Oso the way I believe in West Oso and the way the people of the of the the coaches here and, and administrators and staff believe in us, but our kids can do it too. And there's no doubt our local student athletes are better because of the dedication of Fillmore and Marshall. For Good Sports, I'm Nikki Pradier.